Hey, Chuck Fast here. I decided to do a quick vid on uh, swapping out a rear end under one of these F bodies. This is a fourth generation 95 Z28. Uh, same car I did. Uh, I rebuilt the 4L60E automatic transmission in this thing in my driveway and got good response. Tens and thousands of hits, lots of comments, a lot of people liked it. So I uh, dispensed with the uh, misery of showing me taking this thing out and uh, I've got some things cleaned up here so I want to uh, go through what it takes as I put it back in to give you a general idea. Uh, this is something that uh, there's a lot of these cars out on the road and you may find yourself with one of these things blowed up and uh, there's different things that can go wrong with them. Uh, in this case, if you take a look at take a look at this here, you can probably surmise that the damage was pretty bad. And it happened a long ways away too. Which made it a rather expensive repair even doing the work myself. $300 unit here. This is a 323 Posi out of another 95 Camaro I got from A&B Auto Wrecking. This is actually uh, one of the, you know, about the only time I could ever have anything to say good about that clunker bill that came through a couple years ago. It's December 2011 now, but uh, uh, evidently someone traded in a 95 Z28 and had it crushed in order to get one of these newer vehicles. This rear end came out of one of those cars with 75,000 miles on it, so now it's going into my car to breathe life back into it and keep it on the road. So, what originally happened was the, uh, I believe the pinion bearing started going out on the rear end. I could hear the gear noise, and once you start hearing that noise, you know you're on limited time. Mine lasted throughout the summer, but, uh, This rear end, a little bit of history on this rear end. Originally, it uh, came out of another Camaro. I pulled this out of another Camaro and swapped mine out. Mine was a little loosey-goosey in this one. And I uh, had a 293 under here. Took it out and put these 323s underneath. This was a better rear end than the other one was. Uh, except for it had been worked on before. And sure enough, uh, that might have something to do with why that pinion bearing went out. But at any rate, Originally, I, I took the inspection cover off and I tried to get in there and uh, get the axles out and look at everything, but they had rounded off the little bolt that holds the cross shaft in, in the differential. And every tool, I made several trips, everything else, every tool I could come up with, I could not get that bolt loose. I drilled it and grinded it until there was nothing left and I never did get it out. So I took the whole rear end and got rid of it. I had no choice. So what I'm gonna do now, I had it propped up on my jack stands, and the front of it propped up with this hammer, and uh, I cleaned it up, because the thing about these rear ends, they have these pressed in axle tubes here, and uh, over the years, you get some fumes that come out, and uh, mixing up with dust and so forth, you've got the front seal, a little bit comes out sometimes, uh, your gasket area here, there's a vent right here, stuff comes out, and uh, this whole thing will end up covered with goo, and I had to get it off, so I did a real rudimentary cleanup job on this thing last night, and uh, 32 degree temperatures, kind of hard to paint, but anyway, I put a little bit of paint on it just to, so I wouldn't have to get all this, deal with all this dirt, so I'm going to try to shove this in here now, I have a menagerie of stuff hanging underneath my car here. I'm going to try to work my way through it all and uh, see if I can work it in. So, carefully, try, so this will, try not to let it fall off of there. You may find yourself facing something like this, and even if you are uh, limited skills and limited tools, this can be done by yourself. It's not easy, but it could be that all your other buddies still have paying jobs and and they can't help you. And so you have to find yourself facing something like this by yourself. Uh, so 
this is kind of how I do it. The deal is I have to get this underneath there, get it past all the stuff I have hanging, which I'll show you in a second, and get this shoved up into the torque arm that goes all the way forward on these cars. These fourth generation cars use this torque arm, and it fits in here with two big giant bolts go right down to hold it on. The torque arm is still inside the car there, so I'm going to try to shove this up in there. Maybe I'll speed this part up. The whole brake assembly, parking brake, brake lines are all still hooked up. Take a look at this. Okay, now my first order of the day is to try to is to try to guide this into this torque arm up front here, and uh, it's not the easiest thing. I'm working under primitive conditions, which is the norm for me. And uh, I've known very little luxury in my life when it came to wrenching. But uh, I want to slide that up and get that in there. You see everything else is hanging here. My brake, parking brake still connected. Brake lines are still connected to the car. You want, you want to try not to crack loose these brake lines. Okay, my shocks are dangling over there. There's my uh, lower control arms. Those are uh, Hotchkiss. And uh, these ABS brakes. You don't want to uh, uh, crack them loose if you can help it because you can run into a problem with a brake light coming on because there's a special procedure for bleeding this requiring a special tool and uh, it more expense. So uh, this right here is the magnetic sensor. It goes straight down into the housing and on a uh, tooth gear and it uh, works the ABS system. There's a wire that hooks in from the car goes down hooks in right here uh, earlier when I was taking the rear end out I had I tried to drop the rear end down it was unhooked to get in there and get the wire and it fell and it ripped all the wires out fortunately I got another one from the wrecking yard but beware of that okay all right I've placed all this behind and uh, there's my sway bar hanging up front there hopefully it won't get in the way I want to try to work this into that torque arm. Looks like it slid a little ways there. Uh, get it up in the air a little more. has almost fell off the jack. It's going to make it more difficult. I'm going to drop the jack back down. Takes us some a bit of crude mechanical engineering and a bit of luck.
Okay. It started. Going in very easy. Things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good up front here. That one. And another thing, try not to drop this on your hand. I hope I don't I don't end up filming that. I hate to lose an arm to this. it right now. Oh, wait a second. Is there supposed to be a washer on top? I think there is. Uh, washer on top. Find the washers. All right, I went and found another washer. Not that it's a big deal. There was one missing in the beginning, but all the same, I just want to do it. It's kind of an odd sized washer, but anyway, I got them on, so now I've got those on there and uh, I'm to get the bolts through. Go. Might be hitting my jack. Oh, nice. Well, here, at least put this on there. Make me feel a little more comfortable about getting injured. All right. That's on there. Now, uh, all right, what else is gonna be screwed up? Oh my God. <laughs> 